Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will talk about how to subtract fraction from a whole number. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here 6 and 1 over 5. In this given example, your 6 is the whole number and 1 over 5 is your fraction. So the question here, how are we going to subtract 1 over 5 from this whole number. So let's try solving this. So I will show you two different methods on how to subtract this. Okay, so let's use separation. And in this case, guys, let's start with method number one. So let us use method number one. Now, here's the case, guys. We have six minus one over five. This whole number has its invisible denominator, which is 1, so we can rewrite it as 6 over 1. So as you can see, our new fractions are 6 over 1 minus 1 over 5, wherein we need to get the LCD of these two denominators, which is equal to 5. So next process is that we will subtract this or divide this by 1. And then multiply it by 6. So 5 divided by 1 is 5 times 6 that is equal to 30 minus 5 divided by 5 that is 1 times 1 that is also equal to 1. So what we have here is 30 minus 1 that is 29 over 5. So we can consider this as our final answer but in case that your teacher um, asks you for another another answer like convert this into mixed number, the value or the equivalent mixed number of this is this. 29 divided by 5, ilang, twen, ilang 5 or how many 5s do we have in 29? We have 5. So that will be the whole number of your mixed number. Next. So by dividing 29 by 5, we have 5 and then the remainder is 4. So that is the, that is the new numerator over copy your original denominator which is 5. So that will give you 5 and 4 over 5 and that is also equal to 29 over 5. So we can consider this as our final answer. Now for the second method that we have, so let's use the second method. Let's try using method number two okay for the method number two we have six minus one over five now so for this technique i will be doing i will express six as a fraction okay by the way guys as you can see this is your denominator here is five to express this into a fraction i will multiply 6 by 5 and that is 30. Then I will copy the denominator which is 5. So as you can see, when we simplify 30 over 5, that is also equal to 6. Again, paano ko siya ginawa? Multiply ko siya sa denominator which is 5 times 6, 30. Then copy the original denominator. And subtract or minus 1 over 5. So in this case guys, as you can see, we don't need to find the LCD. Or the least common denominator because they have the same denominators. So what we need to do is to simply copy your denominator, which is 5, sorry, which is 5, and then subtract the numerator, which is 30 minus 1, that would give you 29. And parehas na sila nalabas, and still, the equivalent mixed number is 5 and 4 over 5. This is the answer for this problem. So I hope guys that you learned something from this video. So I will give you an assignment. For your assignment, I will ask you to answer. What is 7 minus 2 over 3? You can use either method number 1 or method number 2 in answering this question. So. If you're new to my channel, 
don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Huwag kakalimutan itong pinapagawa ko. Bye-bye!